So, um, half butterfly. We're going to go over the real basic part first, which is just a half butterfly hook sweep. It's a really simple one. It's going to be a review for most of you, but it might be new for some of you. And we need to look at it because it's going to play into the second part and the third part of the move, which we're going to teach. So, tech is in my half guard, okay? And I'm making a butterfly with this outside leg, but this is the, the, going to be the style of half guard where he's going to be putting pressure on me. Okay. So I need to make sure I'm on my side. My bottom foot is mostly just hooking with my ankle, but my toes are turned downwards over top of his calf. My opposite foot goes inside and makes a hook. Right, that's my butterfly. All right. Now in this particular situation, I've got the underhook. All right, but he gets my head. Okay, and he's pressuring me. This is actually perfect for this sweep because he just put himself in the sweep. So all I'm going to do is, is I'm just going to kind of like check his arm, right? Just checking it just to make sure I know where it's at. Grab your own beard and pull your own face off like I just did. And then what you're going to do is, is you're going to lift with your left foot as you steer with your left hand. And as he starts to go over this bottom foot, right, I'm going to extend my toes like I'm kicking with the ball of my toes. And the ball of my foot is going to go to the floor. Don't do it early because I can't rotate my foot upside down to do it. If I do it right now, it's going to be heel, and it's going to be really easy for him to step over and pass. So I want to get him going first. So I check the arm. I start lifting. Once he starts going, then see how the ball of my foot went to the floor? Then I use that to continue to sweep him over. As he goes over, I, I attach to him, and I hitchhike all the way across. <coughs> right? I hitchhike all the way across. My foot stays on the inside of his thigh. My knee goes to the floor, right? Then from here, I can just continue off. Like I'm back stepping into side mount. Then I turn and go to my knees and get on top, okay? Very, very simple sweep. It's the first sweep you learn from butterfly half, or at least the first one I taught, teach, or the first one I learned. But it's very high percentage. So again, bottom leg's making a hook, mostly just with my ankle. I don't want my toes turned up. I want to turn towards the floor. That kind of great binds his foot in place. Okay. Now from here, he's pressuring me. I get the underhook, but he's under my head and he's rolled me flat. This is the perfect time for that sweep. Okay. My foot goes underneath. If you're having trouble getting it under, get on your side and shrimp a little bit. Should be easy to get it under there. His hands on underneath me, pressuring. Right? So, I'm going to start lifting and using my hand. I lift with the left butterfly. My hand goes across me at 45 degrees. That's going to start tipping him. Once he gets to that where he blades sideways, that's when this bottom foot, toes are going to go into the floor. So, I start lifting. Boom. Now, my toes are in the floor. I'm making sure I'm checking his elbow so he can't pull his hand out from behind my head. I just continue to rotate. I attach to him so that I can hitchhike all the way across. My knee goes all the way to the floor. All right, my foot is still making a hook. Now from here, I'm going to back step to set my foot on the mat. I'm all still hugging his arm here. Now I can turn and go back up. So one last time, full speed. When it is done with everything in sort of semi-half speed or full speed, you get the full effect. It's not a step-by-step -step move. That's all one motion. Okay, very high percentage, and it sets up everything else you do from your butterfly half. So if you want to learn how to play butterfly half, and I very much recommend that you do, okay, uh, you need to learn this sweep. Butterfly half, half is designed, just like regular butterfly, regular half guard is, to help you deal with pressure passing. We are a pressure passing school. So if you want to learn how to stop somebody from really pressuring through your guard, you have to develop some kind of a half guard. You have to develop some kind of a butterfly. If you don't have either one of those in your game, pressure passing is going to be your kryptonite. Okay? And that just happens to be the style of passing that I teach. I don't teach speed passing a lot because I'm just not that good at it. You need to know it. You need to have some in your playbook, okay? But this is the premium stuff you need to know, okay? So let's partner up and give it a try. You guys ready? Let's try it.